hello i'm happy you're here it has been a long night both of my kids have yucky bellies <sighs> i feel so bad for them it's so sad to watch your kid be sick like that i mean it's hard to see your kid be sick at all with anything but that really it takes it so both of them have been sick within the last 24 hours one of them was up pretty much all night being sick and then the other one is feeling good feeling okay i think they've gotten through it so we've got to put a little plan in place because i am alone with the kids this weekend because dave is out of state so we've got to put in some plans <laughs> To get us through this, I have a few things I want to do. I want to do a DoorDash order. I want some sicky things and I've been needing some dishwasher pods so I need those as well to like get through these dishes and stuff. So that's high on the list. We want to get things like um, some Pedialyte, maybe Gatorade, some crackers, uh, maybe some ginger ale. I know it like doesn't really do that much but I think it's very nostalgic for me and if I am next, I want to have it. <laughs> If this thing is coming for me, I want it here because I have not felt ill yet. I need to do lots of laundry. A lot of things did not make it through the battle against the illness last night and lots of things need to be washed. So that's high on the list. I want to make sure all of us get baths. It's kind of hard when it's just me, but we're going to do it. We're going to take daytime baths and just get like generally cleaned up. Uh, in the vein of getting cleaned up, I also want to clean up my house and like really give like the floors a nice little wipe down with the Swiffer and just, I mean, generally that'd be good housekeeping stuff anyway, but just really make sure that I get in and do like washing bits, not just tidying, Wash washing like the floors and wiping down surfaces and disinfecting like everything is high on the list. I want to watch The Princess Bride. It's also a rainy day today. And I, when I'm sick personally, I really like to watch Tommy Boy. That's my sick movie. But I think it'd be really cute to have a sick movie of The Princess Bride. I think that one's also very cozy and to start like the stories being read to a boy who's at home sick. So I think it would just be like a nice little like, oh, I'm sick, where's a little comfort movie? I don't know if I would be scarring them with this or instilling nostalgia in them later, but well, it, it doesn't let's find out i guess now we gotta go get ready and make this happen i think first we gotta get some laundry started oh gosh i am feeling fine which i'm glad about i don't know what the kids got or how they got it morgan did you just do a fresh poo Smells like a brand new poo down here. I think I have plenty of yeah, laundry pods to get us through this mess. I've got a brand new thing that I haven't opened yet either, so that's a positive. Luckily, Owen does not have school today, but we are missing gymnastics this morning. So, I mean, we weren't going to go anyway because yesterday only one of them was ill. And then the second one got ill over the night time. So I was like, okay, we're definitely not going because I would have felt guilty if the one who wasn't sick missed gymnastics. But then they've both been sick. And school rule at least is you're not meant to send your kid to school until it's been 24 hours since they've thrown up. So we're going by that rule today. Luckily our weekend's really clear. Okay, one load of laundry started. We're probably gonna do like three <laughs> at this point. Let's order some DoorDash items. I have a headphone in right now. Ugh. These actually kind of really hurt my ears. <laughs> my ears are adjusting to having in-ear headphones and ouch. I don't remember them hurting that bad. All right, DoorDash, where are you, DoorDash? Did you feed Mala? Well done, thank you. The order is placed, everything is in, and hopefully they will have everything and not substitute stuff. I'm gonna make myself a little hot drink morning. I should probably drink tea, but I kinda just wanna have my regular half-calf coffee at the moment. Um, which is what I'm getting into. Plus, I did this much sleep last night 
because I was just like ears primed to listen for my kids. So I am tired. I think maybe I slept three hours and that would be like the maximum I think would be three hours and let, that's not restful. <laughs> that's not even a restful sleep. That's just three hours of like, <sighs> That was so speedy, very impressed. I bought some Gatorade. I didn't want to get any red Gatorade because in case it came back up. <laughs> um, and orange is the best one, so I don't want to ruin that for anyone. Uh, got some ginger ale, lemon ginger probiotic tea. The standard. Um, some kids Pepto, never tried that before. You want to eat. Um, I got a little can of chicken with rice. So I figured gotta get that sodium back in. I don't know if they'll like it or not. Um, I've never had it, but figured if they don't eat it, it's not a big deal. And then a little guy of the dishwasher pods because I have a bigger one coming on Sunday, but I figured it'd be better to catch up on dishes than just let it be. Okay, let's take care of the babies. It's been a lot harder to get everything done than I thought it was going to. You all right? You splash yourself with your water? The dishes are going, the dishes are running. Uh, I didn't bother to like check my camera when I came back from helping Pop. You all right? All right, you got me? But now I'm gonna take her upstairs for a nap and Owen is asleep on the couch, so. Hopefully when they're both settled down, I can get a few more things done that I want to get done. Um, the bathing is taking a lot longer than I thought it was going to, but that's okay. We've got all weekend, you know? We've got all weekend to achieve these goals. You ready to go upstairs? Ow. Are you ready to go upstairs? No. It's about three o'clock right now. And I'm gonna try to get the first one to take a bath. <laughs> you ready to go take a bath? Okay, I know that if we all bathed earlier, we might feel a little bit better, but it's so hard when you're in the thick of being. You are winning, I'm gonna win. When you're in the thick of sickness like that, to be able to have enough energy to bathe. Do you want a Ninja Turtle washcloth? Or do you want that one? Ninja Turtle one. Okay, see if there are any towels in here. I hate. I'll have to get a little towel out. That's okay. Little one? Look at this, get a little one out. You got one, you got one. You got one, let's go to the bathroom. See, now the difficult part of all of this is that I've got one kid in the tub and one kid asleep and I can't leave up here, but if like the downstairs kid gets upset, this is where like, Having to do this by myself while my two kiddos are under the weather is a little difficult. <laughs> a bit harder than when they're both well. <laughs> so hopefully this will be a decently quick bath, but we don't have to rush it quite yet. I don't know what I'm going to do for dinner. I guess it's really going to depend on everybody's moods on how they're feeling and what they want to eat. And then we'll just kind of work from there, I guess, because... There's no point in making a big, huge meal if nobody's gonna eat it. And also I don't have anything really in the fridge. <laughs> and I had no meals planned. Usually today is pizza day and I didn't go to the store to get anything for pizza. And I don't think I will 
order it in, which would be the option if I decide to get pizza. But I think we're just gonna make do with what we've got. Anything that can be kept down is the right food for today. Just when I thought one was done being ill because it's almost been 24 hours, they were ill. I thought I saw the end. I thought I saw the light at the end of the tunnel. I did not, I am mistaken. So I got two buckets on the go and now I really don't know what I'm gonna do for dinner. Maybe we will try the soup with the crackers and then before bed I might Give them a little Pepto Kids. <sighs> this is not fun, but I think I just have to kind of buckle in for this being the weekend. At least I got one out of three baths done. Last night got very hectic. The kid I thought was all done being ill was ill again. And then one of them had a decent fever, which broke halfway through the night, which I was like awake monitoring. I have one of those, um, thermometers that you point at like your forehead and stuff and you push the button and it reads it. So it was just like, whenever they were asleep, I was just like, beep, 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 like, cool down, please cool down. Ah, so one of them's taking a nap this morning. Fell asleep at 9 a.m. They've both eaten a little bit of oatmeal. They had a little bit of oatmeal last night and then they've had a little bit more this morning. It seems to be like one of the only things that they're keeping down. <sighs> at least there's something. At least that is something. Hopefully it just gets a little bit better. <laughs> I've door dashed some Duncan. Did I need to? No, I didn't need to, but I want to. <laughs> I want a little treat in this moment and I think a little Duncan will be that little treat. Also, I ran out of coffee creamer. And I kind of just like want a little half-calf coffee. So that's what we're going to do, okay? Desperate times, desperate measures. The weather is a lot nicer today, which is great. <laughs> Flip ourselves up like this. <laughs> it's a little bit nicer today, but it got way below freezing last night. So I had to go downstairs and like kick the furnace a little bit, get it going. <laughs> but it's meant to be like 50 degrees or something. So that is going to be nice and exciting. Also, you know what's really fun is that when you buy a big thing of crackers like this and your kids won't eat them at all, or this is yucky. Um, it's not my favorite flavor either, but I didn't want to ruin ones you like. I don't get my kids Gatorade very often just because like, it's, I think it's a little much for kids their age do what you're gonna do um, if you do give your kids Gatorade regularly but my kids are water water kids mostly now the rest of the cleaning and oh, the other one's falling asleep now too like the eyes are going like this watching Spidey and his amazing friends so I think we're gonna do some real loads of laundry yesterday's laundry was just tidying up the things that got in the way of illness yesterday, so. Hi, Mulligan. Hi, Mulligan. Hello, Annie. Oh, I'm in manual focus, of course. That's why you're not. <laughs> it's fine, been only vlogging for years. We're good. So today I think I wanna to try to do a full load of laundry and put some clothes away get myself showered and do the floor tidies that I wanted to do yesterday but just literally couldn't get to. It was like one kid, the other kid, try to do a clean project, one kid, the other kid, the other kid, the other kid, cleaning project, one kid, mix of food, one kid, one kid, cleaning project. So it was like just a cycle yesterday. Couldn't actually like fully do anything in one sitting. I think I knew the DoorDash driver. <laughs> <laughs> they were driving off, I was like, I recognize that car. I think I know who just delivered my coffee. <laughs> Please don't judge me, my children are sick and I want a little treat. Okay, 
I'm also out of creamer, so. I saw something moving in the woods, but I didn't see what it was. Sitting at the table, just drinking my coffee, and I looked out of the corner of my eye, I was like, oh, Mala's on the porch. Let's remember that she's out on the porch. You know, she's run off what? recently, and a lot lately, because all of the spring wildlife is waking up and moving around. And I saw out of the corner of my eye her jump, and I caught her before she got to like those little trees over there. I see my top ball. You see your softball out there? Yeah. I see it too. It's been out in the rain. If you put your boots on, you can go out and get it if you want. Okay. And I saw something oh, in the woods. I think it might have been a deer because it was white and it was kind of up high. So I'm assuming it wasn't like a big old jumping rabbit. I think it was probably a deer. Oh, why is she chasing deer? <laughs> she stopped when she was told. Um, your boots are, where are your boots? You put your boots on. Oh, they're over here. Where are they over there? They're in Grammy's room. We call this Grammy's room because that's our guest bed. Why do you do that? Where did you think you were going? I'm saying sorry. You saying sorry? Also, I need you guys not to judge the fact that I am wearing the same pants as yesterday. <laughs> so, yep, go ahead, go out and grab your ball and come back in. You should just throw some of your egg wrap at her. The kids are. Oh, fair enough. Stay, Mala. All right, go grab your ball real quick. Both the kids have had a bit of an egg wrap this morning, so hopefully that stays down. See Poppy's ball right there? It's the ball she got with her glove. She calls it her softball. It's been out in the rain though, so I don't know how soggy it's gonna be because it's made out of like foam. Where is she? Oh, I just missed her. Did you find it? Yeah. yeah. It, it did rain. Is it all wet? Yeah. Yeah. Do you like her outfit she picked out today? Uh, <laughs> What's your? It is. It's a little cold, yeah. But you're only coming out real fast. That's why a t-shirt was probably going to be fine. It hasn't quite hit that 50 degree mark yet. <laughs> out here I've gotten out of the shower um, pops taking a little nap Owen's watching some TV and I just let the dog out and was like why is it so loud <laughs> um okay meeting of the minds I guess oh Mulligan you can stay out you can stay out oh the only thing about him being outside is that he gets spooked like that and he comes running in so I'd be afraid of him going out further than just to our porch because what if a bigger animal came out and surprised him? Like when Mala runs too fast to him outside, he comes in. But it's really nice out right now, so I'll leave the door open so he can come in and out if he wants. Yeah, go ahead, boo-boo, you can go outside. Go ahead. All right, two out of three bathings have occurred. Poppy snack today. She wanted to have cucumbers, but her cucumbers were like, a little past gone, but she likes pickles, so she wanted some pickles. And then she wanted ranch. <laughs> so she was just dipping her pickles in her ranch. Man, my girls will my girl is gonna love fried pickles when that gets introduced one day. I should hydrate today. <laughs> I've not drank like any water. I don't think I'm going to get sick, so that is a positive of this that has been going on because I feel like if I was going to get sick, I would have done that already. So I think I'm in the clear for that at least. And they're both feeling a lot better. Like they're sitting up, we were all cuddling at one point, but I think they're just so exhausted from not having a lot of food fuel. So just gonna be chilling recovery days again today. The birds are still so loud with that door open. I'm a little bummed for them too because we were going to try Poppy spending the night at my mom's house with her and Owen and they were going to do that tonight and I was like, we can't do that. 
they're just still too sick. Maybe they can do the day trip they were planning tomorrow where they were all gonna go bowling. But even with that, my mom's car like broke the other day on the highway and she's got it fixed and everything. But then my dad's truck, like something broke on that. So I just don't think that this weekend will be the right weekend. So we might try to push it to next weekend, which would be great. That'll be my birthday weekend. That'll be the weekend right before my birthday and Dave will be home because Dave's out this weekend and today is his birthday. So I think that would be nice to have the kids spend a night away on a night where it's him and I and we get to spend actual like time together in our own home, not having any parenting responsibilities would be so cool. Usually when that happens, we usually just go for like a, a weekend, like one or two nights we'll go and we'll spend away and that's kind of like our time together without kids. Those birds, that's crazy. Um, but that would be kind of cool to have it in our own house. We've only ever gotten close to that when Owen's gone to spend the night away and then Poppy goes to sleep, but this would be like an afternoon, night, morning, day, evening, like that, like probably over 24 hours in our own house without the parenting responsibilities, like the immediate parenting responsibilities, obviously. There's always stuff to be done <laughs> to take care of your kids, whether they're in your vicinity or not. This little downtime though, I'm gonna try to tidy and get dressed, obviously. Man, I do not remember when I picked up my camera last, but like, like I, I, like I think I said earlier, just like going between the two because they were both feeling ill and then when they began to start feeling better, they would both feel clingy and then they would go back to feeling ill and one would be clingy, one would be ill, they'd both be clingy, they'd both be, it's just been like bouncing back and forth like that. Like having that kind of day <laughs> and it's just me this weekend, like I've said. So it's taken a lot of like focus in that kind of way. I did a lot of scrolling because I had to just like sit on the couch next to them. Like they just want me sat next to them. I could probably have figured out a book, but I only need one hand to scroll on my phone. I do want to scroll less, but I figured in times of illness, scrolling your phone over and over again, is not like the biggest deal in the world. Like I got other things I'm also trying to do. And to be honest, my house is decently tidy, like not by like looking at the living room, like there's some toys and bits. But today I did take a few toys upstairs to store in the kids' closet. So I am slowly trying to reduce the number of toys downstairs. So, I mean, I've done a few things. It just wasn't like bring the camera out worthy. Hi, Mulligan, you wanna come up here with me? You just gonna chill? That's cool, that's fine. But mostly it was just catering to my kids and taking care of them. One of them was sick this afternoon too. I thought that by the end of the day, I thought we were gonna reach 24 hours of no sick, but that's not the case. However, both of them were eating by the time they went to bed and felt a lot better. And all of the baths have been bathed. All of us have been <laughs> cleaned, it took so long <laughs> to like, I don't know, man, when I'm like super sick, I know that getting in a bath would make me feel better, but also it's like the last thing I wanna do when my body just feels so broken from the inside out. So I didn't wanna like push that on them over the last couple of days, but we have, we have bathed, we are clean. <sighs> and hopefully tomorrow they'll both be feeling better, better like for real better. I don't know if they'll end up going with my parents tomorrow to go bowling or not. I think I think we have like officially moved that to a different weekend, so maybe that's not a huge issue and worry. Luckily, this was just like a long stint of days where we didn't have any plans, so we were able to just stay at home, which was helpful. I mean, other than missing gymnastics in the beginning, but what are you gonna do? <laughs> Just, you can't go like that. I'm hoping that it's like gone for good tomorrow. And I think tomorrow they'll both have a lot more energy. So a lot more playing. I think that was a big reason why my house has mostly stayed tidy. Like the, except for that 
that Hot Wheels track over there, that's been sat there for like three days. I have just stepped over it because I never know with some toys that they set up because it was set up a little bit. It's kind of like falling apart now. I never know with like toys like that if they'll be upset with it being put away or if they would be fine with it. Like sometimes they set up things like that and they want it like set up for days and they'll use it for days and you just have to like kind of walk around it <laughs> until it's finally like, okay, well I'm gonna vacuum and or we have company coming over and it's been up for a week now. So I think we can probably put it away now, yeah? So I didn't know if that was one of the th those types of things at this moment. But now that it's nighttime and they're both asleep, I'll probably tuck that into the toy box. Now, hopefully tomorrow they'll feel a bit better and I can like actually do some looking after me, like not sitting on the couch rotting, trying to put my phone away, and engage in some hobbies maybe, do some stretching. I was just stretching my legs out a little bit earlier and it's not good. It's not good at all, but coaching starts in a couple of days and I will be up and walking around every single day for lots of days. So I'm not too worried about that just yet. But I think that this is it for this video. We've made it through for the most part. I think it's on its way up and I'm looking forward to not having sick kids. I think that's soon. But thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.